Hello, today I'm going to show you how to solve the tube puzzle, the rotating and sliding tube puzzle. And I've got two uh, tube puzzles here. I've got one in my right hand that's already been completed um, there. And then I've got one in my left hand, which is the one I'm going to show you how to solve today. And the first thing is you just need to make a note of the order of the colours of the tiles as it goes around the, the tube. So, um, so I'm going to do it in the order of red orange and yellow, light green, dark green, blue, purple and pink. And note with the pink there's only two pinks, everything else has uh, three tiles and every puzzle has one missing tile which allows you to move the tiles around and solve the puzzle. Okay so uh, so the first thing is you start with the uh, the bottom row and the find the red tile on the bottom row and then just work around the tube putting each tile into place on the bottom row. And so what we need to do is next is red here. The red, we need to uh, put the orange there. So we'll push uh, the tiles up like so to create a space next to the red and spin it around until we find an orange and drop the orange in the place. And then the first two tiles are in place now, red and orange. And next to the orange is the uh, yellow. So we spin it around Create a space next to the orange, and I can see a yellow there. Turn one, turn around, and the yellow is in place. And the next one to put into place is the uh, light green. Yep, so the light green's already in place. And then after the light green, we need to put the dark green. So I create a space next to the light green, spin around the puzzle until I find a dark green. And actually, the dark green's are here in two in the bottom row. So what I'll do there is I'll just put a random back into that place, a random tile, push it up like so and put the green into the middle row, move it around and then once again create a space next to the yellow, drop the green into place like so and um, yeah, now the green is in place. And it's good actually doing the bottom row first because gravity kind of you know, keeps all your tiles in place as you go around. Now this one next to the green has to be, the dark green has to be the blue. So create a space there and spin it around until I find a blue and drop that into place. Next to the blue is a purple. So create a space next to the blue and spin it around until I find a purple. Yep. And the next one next to the purple has to be a pink. And there's the red there that we started with. Create a space next to the purple, drop the pink into place, and now the bottom row is in place. Red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, blue, purple, and pink. Okay. So next start with the middle row, and starting with a red tile, and I can see the two red tiles in the top row. So I'll just um, create a space there in the middle row, and I'll drop a red down, line up the two reds, and next we just work around the middle row then, dropping all those colours into place. So next to the red is an orange, create a space, spin it round, drop in the orange. Yellow's already in place, that's good. Uh, next one is a light green, so push up the yellow like so. Oops, and spin it round until a light green there is above and drops into place. Dark green, create a space there, move it round and drop the dark green into place. Blue goes next to the dark green, spin it around, uh, drop the blue into place. And the next one has to be purple, create a space there for the purple, spin it around and drop the purple in place. And finally, finally it's pink is the last one in place. And you can see there now that those bottom two rows are all in place. So finally then we just need to complete the top row. Line up the red tile in place, on oh, the orange is in place as well, which is good. So what we need to do now is find where the space is, and the space is there above the yellow. So what we need to do is, wherever the space is, is to solve that column. So push up the yellow, like that, create a space down in the middle, and then spin it round at the top row until we find the yellow. The yellow drops into place, and then spin it back around. So now you've got the red, the orange and the yellow are all in place. And then we look around until we find the space there. 
but unfortunately the space is above the pink and there's no th third pink to put into place. So what we'll do is we will just, uh, I'll spin that around to say the green there, which still needs to be solved, because I've only solved the red, orange and yellow. So I spin it around until I find the green. I'll push the green up, turn it around and solve the green like so. And then that's messed up the, the red, orange and yellow. So I move that back around. So now we've got the red, orange and yellow in place. And now we've got the um, a space above the purple. So we'll solve the, you know, so I've ruined the green by doing that, but that doesn't matter. So we'll solve the, the purple now. So push the purple up into the top and spin it round, drop the purple into the middle row. And now the purple is in place. All purple, three purples, three reds, three orange and three yellows. The next one to solve is the blue. Push the, push the blue up into space, into the space above it, and drop the blue into place, spin it back around, and now we've got three purples, and three um, blues, three reds, three orange, three yellows. And now what we do is we push that, push that light green up into place, like so, spin it back around, and drop the light green into place, and everything else is solved except the green, and now we push the green up there into space like so, spin it round until we drop the green into place, spin it back around and now the puzzle is solved. You can see all the reds, all the oranges, light, uh, sorry the yellows, light green, dark green, blue, purple and the space above the, the two pinks. Okay well that's how you solve the, the tube puzzle, the rotating and sliding tube puzzle. So uh, yeah, if you follow those steps to each row at a time then you'll probably be able to do it in, well, once you get fast at it, in just a minute or two. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.